So let us look at this seemingly useless uh, uh, example. I say useless because it is appearingly useless, but it is extremely useful. I have been highlighting this fact uh, from almost the first lecture. The example is this. It is called the network of the world wide web, also called the web graph. So what I do is the following. I have my home page and I link the home page of my friend on my home page. I say for more details about this course, please refer to my friend's website here and that here is a hyperlink to the other web page. We have discussed this before if you remember. So now, if I look at the entire world wide web, it is a bunch of pages, simply a bunch of pages, is it? So what I do is, I go to a page, call it a node in my graph. In my graph, every node corresponds to a page. So take two nodes means take two web pages, put an edge between them if one points to the other. So my home page is a node, my friend's home page is another node. I put an edge from my page to my friend's home page saying A, my home page is adjacent to B, my friend's home page and here is the edge. Assume I do this to all possible pages in the world. How does the graph look like? Very weirdly, collecting such a graph looks like complete waste of time. Of what use would uh, such a graph be? It does not sound like uh, it is going to be of any use, but uh, as I told you people, this resulted in a multi billion dollar industry which today we call um, Google. So, Google basically harnessed the fact that deep within these connections is the clue to the answer answer to this question as to how can one get the best search result. If someone types a celebrity's name, let us say Brad Pitt, it has a whole lot of, there are a whole lot of pages on the internet which has the word Brad Pitt, which is the best possible hit amongst these. The answer is in this web graph and Google unleashed it. So now, here is an example of a network data set called the web graph which is appearingly of no use, but a very small process of mining it gives you an answer to a huge question that people did not realize is uh, that important in the 90s. But in the late 90s, um, Larry Page and uh, co came out with this beautiful algorithm which says this is where one can search for an answer for the question how does one rank? Um, uh, one's uh, search keywords. Once you type in a keyword, whatever you get, how do you rank the output of your search?